left um, the meeting here in Washington with some level level of optimism that the global activity was accelerating in almost all regions of the world. Um, and so we had projected last year that growth would be at about 3.9% in 2018 and 2019. Uh, however, at this year's meetings, members were disappointed uh, that much, much has changed, basically uh, for a couple of reasons. One, well, there was escalation of uh, trade tensions between the U.S. and the China. There were some macroeconomic stress points in, in countries like in some countries, particularly uh, in Argentina and Turkey. There were disruptions in the auto auto sector in some parts of Europe, particularly uh, in Germany. Uh, there were also some tight credit policy in China. And lastly, there were also macro uh, monetary policy normalization, like you all may have heard, in the larger advanced economic countries, uh, including the United States and Europe. These factors significantly uh, contributed to a weakening in the global growth figures, especially during the second quarter of 2018 and into the first half of 2019. This is expected, the weakening numbers are expected to continue. Uh, based on these factors, factors, growth for 2019 uh, was revised downwards at this meeting to, um, I mean global growth, to 3.3%. And that although the 3.3% for 2019 is considered reasonable, the outlook for most countries is still challenging with some uncertainties in the short term and also risks remain uh, skewed to the downside. For the sub-Saharan Africa where we come from, some of the factors earlier highlighted contributed to the moderation of sub-Saharan Africa growth figures to 3% in 2018, though it is expected to pick up to 3.5% uh, like the minister said in 2019 and 2020. Uh, the recovery in the global growth is expected during the second half of 2019 and hoping that the engagement between the U.S. and China will lead to de-escalation of trade tensions. But also it's important that we say that um, at these meetings, um, unfortunately, uh, there were some of the participants expressed strong concern or view on the growing concept of national, nationalism against multilateralism. Okay. Um, giving members the impetus to begin to talk about a new concept that is tagged new multilateralism. Uh, views were uh, therefore expressed that there will be a need for the World, World Trade Organization to begin a process uh, of reform that will lead to, to an update of the rule of the game and aimed at protecting even the weaker, uh, the weaker economies. Um, we also had, we also held various side meetings, like the hundred ministers said, with some development partners, uh, the World Bank, the International Finance Corporation, uh, with Maximum of the Netherlands on the financial inclusion. Like you know, um, she is the United Nations envoy uh, on financial inclusion. And when she visited Nigeria about 18 months ago mm -hmm. with Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, we promised that by 2020, the level of financial inclusion in Nigeria will be uh, accelerated to about 80%. Uh, we reviewed uh, the position so far, um, uh, in, uh, observing that the rate of financial inclusion was moving up aggressively and that we were very optimistic that in 2020, we'll be able to meet the 80% uh, target that we had set. We also met with foreign investors who expressed confidence in what we are doing in Nigeria, and this has been supported by the massive flows that you may have observed recently uh, between December and even till this time. Uh, for me, a major takeaway from this year's meeting is that although, growth, although the GDP numbers for Nigeria is low at 1.9% in 2018, I'm encouraged by the expression, even at the uh, International Monetary and Financial Committee, IMFC plenary session here in Washington, that global growth begins, um, that as global growth begins to, uh, to pick up during the second half of 2019, uh, that emerging markets, economies like India, Brazil, China, and indeed Nigeria will help to drive this growth uh, to the kind of level that is expected by the, by the world community. This means to mean that a lot of eyes are on Nigeria, and we must work hard to aggressively push up uh, our growth numbers. But I'm hopeful that um, that this can be achieved, given the given the kind of discussions that have gone on even after um, the President Muhammadu Buhari won the election, 
that the at this time we will need to work about consolidating growth we need to work about creating more jobs for our people and uh, and that there is also a need for us to diversify the economy